Hello and welcome to another Wilderness Tamed gardening video. In this one we're going to take a cheeky peek at my top five favourite native winter flowering plants. So let's enjoy the credits and we'll get stuck into it. So winter is regarded as a fairly bleak and uninteresting time of year where the trees are bare uh, unless you have evergreens and uh, there's nothing much to see on the ground. But with a little care and attention and planning you can add quite a splash of colour to your garden from mid-January onwards. So let's take a, an in-depth look at what we've got going on. Let's start with the snowdrop, Galanthus nivalis. Uh, it grows from a bulb. You can also grow from seed, but you would expect to wait four to five years, maybe more, before you got any flowers. So they divide naturally underground from the bulbs and the clumps will thicken up as the years go by. So it's very easy to lift and divide those clumps and spread the colour a bit further on around your garden unless you're happy for them to to do that in their own time then they will uh, forming fantastic drifts uh, in especially in dry shade in a sort of a, a woodland or uh, under tree cover situation so an ideal little flowering bulb another winter flowering bulb probably comes out usually before the snowdrop the winter aconite eranthus hymalis um, these little bright yellow buttercup flowers come up with a wall of green leaves like a collar around them, disappear after a while, followed by clumps of leaves which also disappear by midsummer. so there's no signs of them throughout the summer and autumn. But again, excellent ground cover. Next up is the longwort pulmonaria. This is pulmonaria angustifolia, a uh, herbaceous perennial, pretty much evergreen. It's always a, a crown of leaves there at some uh, stage of development. Um, little fuzzy buds and then opening into pink and blue flowers. There are garden hybrids which are all pink or all white. Um, the leaves of the true native are plain green but some of them do develop uh, little white spots in them so quite an interesting plant all around excellent dry shade or damp shade uh, ground cover very free flowering and flowers for months and months so starts in February as I've said um, and goes on right through to sort of May June time um, and an easy one to to divide and propagate from so the bees love it and uh, so should you. So number four on the list is the stinking hellebore, Helleborus fetidus. And it only stinks if you touch it, pick parts of it, or crush the leaves. Otherwise to look at from a distance perfectly acceptable. Um, again, evergreen foliage looks a bit cannabis-like, but it's uh, much darker and stronger this palmate leaf structure. And in sort of January time, they'll start pushing up these pale lime green flower spikes, which then by February have started to open out. And by March, it's in full flow. Uh, some of the flowers will develop a little sort of a pink uh, tinge around the, the base of the, the petals which is quite nice um, so yeah and it again it's a great uh, shade plant uh, doesn't need to be in full sun at all very tolerant of being shaded by buildings as well as just under the cover of sort of dappled shade of, of trees but uh, quite free seeding as well so just be careful don't let it go 
too nuts or otherwise it will overtake things uh, but a, a thoroughly delightful plant last but not least the delightful hazel an ancient woodland shrub slash small tree uh, commonly used in coppicing which is where you cut them down to sort of ground level every year or every few years and they throw up these long strong and flexible stems lovely speckling to the stem uh, this time of year these long yellow catkins uh, full of pollen and nectar for uh, foraging insects and things and then of course in the autumn if you're lucky and the squirrels don't get them first you'll get a crop of hazelnuts as well boom uh, very distinct leaf a uh, nice sort of oval shape with a serrated edge uh, so all together quite an attractive tree thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed that in a slow and delightful way um we'll see you in the next one in the meantime between storms enjoy yourself